Okay, welcome everyone to part two of my Q&A. If you missed part one, I'll have that link down below. And we're just gonna jump right into it here. I've got my Kiwi Lime prolific pre-workout ready, and we're gonna go hit a leg workout after this. So I'll just overlay some of those leg clips over here as I go through the questions. Here we go. First question, should teenagers train the same as adults? I'm 14 years old, 170 pounds, six foot two, deadlift 375, squat 300, and bench 160. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this. Um, a lot of people, I feel like, uh, get this a little bit wrong. In my experience, there are two main concerns when it comes to teenagers and training. Uh, the first is, will it stunt your height or growth potential? And the second has to do with injury risk. Now, first things first, I would say that when it comes to programming for people, you really need to consider the situation outside just the age of the individual. Um, for example, someone who may be 14 or 15 years old, but has been playing sports since they were five and has a really good general athletic ability is gonna be probably much more well suited for a more advanced training program than someone who might be 30 years old but has never touched a, a football or soccer ball or something in their life. So I think that previous experience in athletic ability really should weigh in on this as well. But when it comes to youth training in particular, in 2014, there was an international consensus position stand that was published under a ton of different organizational or regulatory bodies. And basically, I'm just going to read off what they concluded for both the stunted growth concern and the injury concern. Uh, so first, the stunted growth concern, they said that basically the opposite of what most people say. They say, failure to participate in moderate to vigorous weight-bearing physical activity during these stages of growth may predispose individuals to long-term bone health implications. So maybe not training with some external resistance could actually be a bad thing uh, it, during your developing years. And they said no scientific evidence indicates that resistance training will have an adverse effect on linear growth during childhood or adolescence or reduce eventual height in adulthood. Um, so I really think this is just something that's been blown out of proportion. And I actually did a full video on it, if you guys haven't checked it out, that kind of dives into the origin of this myth, basically. Okay, the second thing is injury risk. And I think that this is a little bit more of a legitimate concern. Um, for me, I think that when you're a teenager, you probably are newer to weight training and so it probably would be best to always have a spotter handy someone with more experience ideally an adult who's going to be able to supervise you and make sure you're not biting off more than you can chew in terms of weight which i find is a really strong temptation for teenagers and i'll just briefly put the summary of the injury related stuff up here on the screen from that position stand uh, but in brief basically they said that weight-bearing exercise may be critical for reducing injury later in life. So if you can build that strength early, then basically you're off to a great start. Um, so my hat's off to you at 14 years old, being able to perform those lifts. I think that's really impressive. And just for any teenager listening in general or people who train teenagers, uh, I would say that you know, here on this channel, you hear me emphasize training volume and intensity and progressive overload as sort of the main things that are driving muscular gains forward. Uh, but when it comes to teenagers, I feel like it is a little bit of an exception where you kind of want to put those things to the side, at least initially, and really focus on mastering your technique first. And it can be really tempting as a teenager to start setting PRs. This is, this is tempting at any age, to be honest, but I think it's especially important as a teenager that you really master that form first above everything. It's more important than volume, more important than intensity and effort. You've really got to nail the technique down. So that would be my number one bit of advice. Thank you.